Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as, been, as has been highlighted by the Minister, we thank you very much for all your submissions. We've received close to 200 submissions uh, from the private sector, so we are working through those closely with FRCS, uh, making assessments, which uh, and then we'll propose our recommendations uh, for the Minister's consideration. Uh, in addition to that, the week before, we met with all the uh, permanent secretaries um, and the respective teams to consider their budget submissions uh, for the next financial year, which will really determine uh, the programs and the projects that will be funded in the, in the budget. Uh, we're also working with uh, Reserve Bank of Fiji, Bureau of Statistics, uh, and looking at the uh, GDP forecasts for the next financial year, which will really uh, underline uh, the revenue and uh, the revenue projections, uh, which would also determine our expenditure uh, levels. Um, we're also, we've been also talking to a lot of our multilateral partners in, in relation to financing, as uh, the Honourable Minister, um, because we're expecting revenues um, to not pick up in, in the near, in the next 12 months, um, um, in the next 12 months to pre-COVID levels, uh, there will be a need to look at uh, how we can finance the budget. So we've been talking to our, our multilateral uh, development partners. This is the World Bank uh, ADB. I think the important note, uh, the important point to note in relation to financing is the, the, the terms that we receive from these institutions are extremely concessional. Uh, for example, for, for World Bank, uh, the terms are 40 year repayment, 10 year uh, grace period with uh, almost zero interest. Uh, so that's basically where we are in terms of um, the uh, formulation of the uh, next uh, year's budget. Um, and if there are any particular questions in relation to uh, the, the budget process, we'll be happy to um, uh, take those on. Thank you.